When you think about bourbon, its history, brands, and people, you probably think of Kentucky. It makes sense. A bulk of bourbon production still occurs in the bluegrass state. Hands-on experiences of bourbon for many fans occur via the Kentucky Bourbon Trail, where individuals can go behind the scenes of their favorite distilled spirit with dozens of opportunities to tour distilleries, each with its own unique story and history. The love for bourbon doesn't stop at the distilleries in Kentucky. It's everywhere. Statues, signs, public artwork. It's incorporated in menus at restaurants. There are festivals and museums, all dedicated to America's native spirit. Yes, Kentucky is the greatest place in the world to be if you love bourbon. The history, access to bourbon celebrities, liquor sections stocked with hundreds of brands and world-class products being made means Kentucky is the center of the bourbon world. It doesn't mean it's the only place though. In other states like New York, Virginia, Tennessee, Indiana, Illinois, Missouri, Michigan, Texas, and Washington, you are starting to see a bourbon culture grow as more distilleries are making award-winning bourbons. One state, though, is a standout. While it has a much younger history in bourbon than Kentucky does, but it was at the forefront of the craft distillery movement with laws and an environment conducive to the success of startups. It's worked, too, as the state now has more distilleries producing bourbon than even Kentucky. It has its own trail to help coordinate visitor experiences. It has its own group of bourbon-famous people and plenty of award-winning bourbon. This little slice, or should we say square of bourbon heaven, is Colorado. And today we're going to learn what makes Colorado so unique in bourbon by talking about the state itself as well as feature the distilleries making things happen. You will get to see their stories and what they are doing to honor the history of bourbon as well as what they bring to make their products unique. That's right, we're going to be talking about Colorado whiskey.